Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So today's video, we're going to be talking about power leveling in Lost Ark. Now I'm a free to play player. I refuse to toss money into a free to play game. Now this is the fastest, most efficient way for you to get a bunch of alls up to level 50 to 302 item level and beyond. This feature is very abusive and I'm very surprised that more people just aren't using it or they even know that it exists. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's hop into the bread and butter of this thing. Why am I even making this video so late into the game? I'm sure you've already seen like 100 guys on how to power level your character from I don't know 302 to 1500 with these six easy steps and blah, 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 blah. So this is not going to be that type of video, okay? This type of video, I do not care about hitting tier 3 progression. That is not a driving factor for me, and it's true for a lot of people. I'm sure most people want to hit tier 3 as fast as possible. If that is the case, then this video is probably not going to be for you. This is going to pertain mostly to people who want to level all, who want to experience PvP. Now, I love PvP. I come from a huge MMO background, Elder Scrolls Online, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, anything competitive. PvP wise, I'm usually on top of it. So it's very important for you to play all the classes. You know, there's, I, I think 15 different classes, uh, 14, something like that, 13. Someone correct me down in the comments until they actually release more classes. And the best way to learn PvP is to level all and just play them. So that's not easy for a lot of people, okay? I myself work full time and I just simply do not have the time nor dedication to grind up 12 hours worth of alts, you know, every single time I want to play a new PvP class, nor do I want to toss money into a free-to-play game. But luckily, you do not have to. There's a couple of features in the game, so you guys already know about power passes, how you get two of them after you complete the main quest, and then once you use your power pass once, you get another power pass. Well, what a lot of people don't really use is the knowledge transfer system. Okay, so we're here at the Stronghold, and essentially what the Knowledge Transfer feature is, if you are unaware, is essentially a power pass, but you have to use gold for it. And gold you can earn in-game. There's many, many ways to earn gold and to farm it, which we will be covering after I go over the whole Knowledge Transfer system. So, once you complete the main storyline and you progress your Stronghold, you will unlock this guy over here, the, the Knowledge Vault. So, what you can do here, depending on what progression you actually have your main character. See, I've, I've not made it completely past Rohendel. I'm at like 580 iron level just because I've been PvPing a lot and I really haven't been grinding the, the Harmony stones um, like I needed to. So, this is going to be your judgment call. So, if you just want to get to iron level 302 and you want to get the you know, PvP as fast as you possibly can, this is definitely going to be the option for you because it's only going to cost you 600 gold to essentially take your progression that you have on your main character and transfer that to another alt and you can do this up to nine times per server right so the very first time you do it it's only going to cost you 600 gold and if you've got to this point by this time in this game you probably ha you probably have like 1500 gold saved up to this point so you can easily get two characters from there but if you want to you know maybe possibly you have a uh, like a 1200 item level you know whatever alt and you're damn near tier three content and you don't want and you want to level another alt not only for pvp but you also want to experience in-game content with that as well well guess what you can do that here the prices will jump a little bit when you get into yorn and fiatin or fiatin or uh, however you want to say it I, i've not even been here so we're going fiatin for now but uh, the prices will go up a little bit which really is the end of the world but for the sake of this video i just care about pvp so this is only going to cost me 600 gold per alt and the beauty about this is that's it you just simply have to make an alt get it to level 10 just so you can get to the stronghold which is one of the prerequisites for this knowledge transfer and then you just hit your transfer target you pick whatever alt you want to level up to the 302 iron level you north burn rohendel you know yorn you know whatever and you just gotta wait eight hours and that's it you're gonna log back in on your alt and that's literally it you accept it it's going to give you a chest that's going to give you the 302 iron levels that you need or whatever progression you are in your storyline and that's literally it so now you have an alt you can do the in-game content with if you did buy the more expensive tiers to get your iron level and progression much higher or if you just want to hop into some pvp you're ready to do so right there on the spot which is the absolute most beautiful thing about this game is that you only have to do the grind once now this does cost gold which you can obviously buy gold you know from outside sources or you know whatever but since i'm a free-to-play player it's very important for me to do you know freely 
So there's very easy ways to do that. There's all kinds of guides you can Google, but the very best way to do this, you hit all in, you go to your rapport system, and guys, this is the fastest, most easiest way you could ever earn gold ever. So let's take, for example, um, Evele here. Uh, I haven't actually completed the dialogue quest, which is really weird. But if you get to, usually it's friendly and trusted, you can get gold tier. Some NPCs do have gold on the uh, amicable tier or however you say that. Um, but Take a look right here. If you just get the friendly alone, that's 500 gold. And then if you get trusted, that's another 900 gold. That's 1400 gold in total just for maxing out this rapport with this NPC. That is two totally free characters that you can max out. The only thing you have to do is wait. Surely it's God, everyone can wait eight hours. And this is true for a lot of the NPCs. Now you can also use the auction house, which I am not a fan of because the auction house, quite frankly, is a little confusing. And then the market prices, are a little sus right now so if you really know what you're doing definitely do so and then if all else fails and you have a bunch of stones maybe from your founders pack you know what have you you can always do a currency exchange it's no big deal so all this is left over from my bronze founder pack i haven't jetted any money into this game whatsoever this is what i have left over and if you really want to and you really need the gold like here on the spot you can just buy everything right here um i would not suggest it because these exchange rates are kind of eh um i much rather farm my uh, reputation in game but uh, that's entirely up to you and that's all there really is to cover in this video i try to keep it nice short and sweet and maybe you don't know about this feature and maybe you do or maybe you didn't understand how it worked and hopefully this video helped you out a little bit again you do have to complete the main story quest uh, which is that ilana's gift in order to gain access to the knowledge transfer system also you need to have the character at level cap you know for whatever progression you want to advance them to and then the other snafu is that on the character you want to knowledge transfer to, you have to get them to level 10 and also get them to the point to where they can go into the stronghold because you kind of have to be in the stronghold in order to accept this knowledge transfer from your robot here. Because this will teleport you to Trixium and then you'll get your gear and yada yada. So hopefully that clears up a little bit and is really helpful to you guys. Um, again, this has been Horcrux. And a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat and keep my Malsies very, very happy. She loves her bones. She is crippling addicted to them. So if you want to help support the channel or even my dog and her bone eating endeavors, the link is down in the description to my Discord as well as Patreon, YouTube memberships and all, all that. All the support I receive from you guys goes right back into the channel. A little bit goes to feed my dog's crippling addiction to her bones. I mean, she's got to be spoiled, right? But uh, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.